Congratulations on hosting a successful event with your team in Paris. Thank you. Are you looking forward to planning the next one? Can you tell me about your experience? Uh, I absolutely am looking forward to planning the next one. Um, it's hard to think about already planning the next one when we're not quite done with the one uh, happening right now. Um, so far it's been a great experience. Um, a fun thing about doing these word camps and being on these teams is that from year to year we change roles and we get to experience the, the camp and the organizing process in new ways. So leading the local team uh, this year has been quite challenging, a great learning experience, um, I've had a great team, it's been really a joy to work with them and so I look forward to taking a new role next year and uh, leaving the, the local uh, logistics to, to this guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any unique or unexpected challenges that you had while organizing the team on the ground? We might be here a while. Uh, yeah, well, I think I think the biggest challenge of organizing a WordCamp, especially one of this size, is um, just the fact that we're all volunteers. Um, and so we're all peers, we all have day jobs. Well, I didn't for a while, but I do now. Uh, and so um, you need to find that balance between leading a team and keeping things in order uh, and moving forward. Um, but also respecting the fact that we are all volunteers, we all have our constraints and our limits, we can't push people too hard, um, and sometimes you need to adapt as you go. And so I think that's the biggest challenge in learning experience is how to adapt when those challenges arise, um, all while keeping everybody happy, morale up, uh, and being really considerate um, of everybody's personal needs. Okay. Milan, congratulations on Belgrade being selected for next year's WordCamp Europe. Can you tell me about how the WordPress community has exploded in Serbia over the past few years? Yeah. We, so we started in 2013 and uh, now we have six different communities and we have people and uh, everything has been great. So we wanted to do the, uh, the application for 2017 but we weren't ready. But for hosting the 2018 we feel confident and I'm sure it's going to be a, a success. Okay, so for someone who's never been to Belgrade and is wondering about attending, what would you say to convince them? Um, food. Yes. It's the food. Um, Belgrade, um, I, I think that out of, I don't know how many, tens will have, three, three, four, five, a thousand will have, uh, lots, of, like, I'm sorry, okay, yeah, we're going to cut that. Mm, food. Because, um, being in something new and seeing something new, it's it's amazing. So a lot of people that attended our previous work camps, they enjoyed it. And it's like, hey, we should be here much earlier. And um, I'm sure that everyone's going to have a, a lot of fun. Awesome. What have you seen at this word camp this year uh, that's really working well that you'd like to repeat in Belgrade? Well, local thing. I would say the local team did an amazing job with Paris and we, uh, I'm sure that uh, we have a lot of things to learn, like all the recommendations for restaurants and all things to see in Paris. Uh, we try to uh, do that in, in Belgrade as well. Uh, the communication was excellent and cooperation with, between, uh, between different teams was awesome. So we'll try to, to, to repeat that one as well. Okay. It, do you have any advice, Jenny, for Milan in the planning stages or even for the main event? Um, what would you tell him to make it smooth? Put on a helmet. Get ready. <laughs> 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 no, more seriously, um, I think the best advice I can give him is um, just to let you know that it is a lot of hard work. Um, it's not the easy job on the team but it is very rewarding. Um, we're really taking care of our attendees. We're really making it a good experience for them. And you are really bringing them to your home. You know, we're bringing them to Belgrade. Yeah. So I think have fun with it. You know, it's gonna be stressful at times. It is a load of work. It's way more work than I even had imagined. Um, but it felt really good knowing that I was bringing people to France, to Paris, and that I just had to keep it in the forefront of my mind in those tough times. And I was like, oh God. Um, so yeah, have fun with it, have fun with it. And I got your back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>